here it is, be the awl, the little Phillips screwdriver, well it's going to be fun trying to drive a screw that long with this, and of course we'll be using the saw, which is right here, so we'll be short stroking our way through that board. The saw and, of course, the knife. So, see if I can give you a shot of what, what we'll be using. So it don't snap shut on me. That's pretty much what we'll be using today. Anything else that I think that I need to get the job done. But first thing I need to know how long that board's going to be. I'm going to, I need like about a inch and a half overlap all the way around. That'd be the first thing I do. Right here. I don't want to stop and keep blowing, keep blowing the sawdust away so I can see that line, so I'm just going to freehand cut it and hope that I end up with fairly square. But it's cutting better than I thought. I'm right on the line. Still right on the line. We're good. Not bad. Not bad. That saw did good. Let's cut these outside corners off. One on this side and one on the other side.
All right, now, now I want to ease all of these corners. So we'll take the knife. And ease all of these corners. Big long. This big long edge here. Let's see what we can do with it. It's going to tend to want to uh, dive with the grain into the board, so I have to be careful with it. I got lucky on that section. The grain was good and straight. Let's see what this section looks like. I got my four holes laid out. There's going to be one here and here, so I need to bore four through holes and not let the thing close up on my fingers. Now I've bored through holes in three quarter inch stock before and so I'm glad that this particular pine board Usually, many times when pine gets old, it'll get rock hard, but this one didn't, so it's still pretty soft, so that's working in our favor. the hole to be plumb some we're on a roll need a power drill don't I <laughs> I got a power drill it's taking a lot of power to drill this We'll just switch hands. When one hand gets tired, I'll switch over to the other hand and continue to apply power to it. It ain't coming through yet. Oh, it's starting to come through. So we got a good through hole right there.
So, two through holes there, two through holes there. That's pretty close. Oh, this side's in too far. But I think I'll do that. We are ready for our first hole. Now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can drive through that metal first thing. And after we get well, after we get this screw set, we'll have to go back and center everything up again. So let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it went right through that metal, no problem. Went right through there, no problem. Now, how much trouble is it going to be to try to drive that big old long, looks like a two inch wood screw into there. All depends on how hard the two by fours were when I made the table underneath, and that was scrap, scrap uh, packing material, boxing material, crates and things from work. So I don't remember it being all that hard. Feels, feels pretty good. It's not, it's not being hard to drive. I just need to get used to the, to the T-handle effect of it all. What if it was hard to drive? What if it was hard to drive? How much, how much stress could this knife take? That, that's interesting. Right now, what I thought was going to be one of the more difficult things to do, because this is a T-handle, it's driving that screw very easily. Slowly, but easily. And that's that's flush. All right, let's line. All right. And that's below the surface. Oh, I didn't have another two inch nail. Now I got to drive an extra half inch with that sucker. I'm turning the camera off on this one. That extra half inch that I'm having to drive this screw in is getting pretty tight. So if the old field master breaks on me, I guess I want to get it on video. Let's see what it's going to take to drive that extra length down in there. tight
got to go good. It's got to go another couple turns to get flush. That's flush. I am impressed. I put some real torque on that screwdriver. It did a good job. All right. Let me get set back up and we'll we'll try out our board. All right. Let's take a look at it. It's got this splinter free edge. I'm a lot less likely to catch a splinter off of that since we eased that 90 degree edge. I've got a lip all the way around so that now when I need to clamp the fireboard, I can clamp it here. And let's try it out and see if it works. Let's go for a fire roll. Is if I can get it open. We are christening our new board with a fire roll experiment. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Didn't want to do it, did it? Now, let me get the uh, knife. Good old Swiss Army knife. That thing has proven itself today. It can do work when it has to do real work. This is a Victorinox Field Master. I appreciate y'all joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.